Yo guys, welcome back to Keko Channel Baik lagi dengan gue Kenny Dan seperti biasa ya, kita bakal lanjutin lagi Permainan Hungry Hearts Dinner 2 Kita dengan Moonlight Memories <laughs> Oke, okay, dan Gue di sini bakalan Langsung aja mulai ceritanya ya guys Karena udah lumayan banyak dan ini kayaknya Chapter 9 udah agak-agak yang Miris-miris sedih gitu loh guys Bawa pembawaannya, jadi buat kalian ya Uh, cepetan apa namanya orang yang cepet cepet menangis uh, kayaknya harus mempersiapkan tisu lebih banyak pagi ya guys karena gua berasa bak sedih banget untuk part yang ini ya yeah. dan gua di sini langsung aja tekan ceritanya let's go hmm what should I do go mm, don't go mm, go what on earth are you doing Eh, you saw me. Uh, let me explain. This is neck fortune telling. Never heard of it. You know how people pluck petals and say he loves me, he loves me not. It's like that, but with a snack. Uh, it sounds really stupid when I explain it. Is something on your mind? Yeah, you can tell. Just had a hunch. Well, I had some news. Which do you want to hear first? The good news or the bad news? I get a choice. I feel like I'm in a movie. <laughs> Tell me the good news first then. Great choice. Now the good news is I think it's going to go well. My relationship, I mean. Really? You're talking about that customers of yours, right? Yeah. He says he's fine with me that the way I am. See? Just like I said, good thing you didn't give up, right? Yeah, <laughs> we're going to take a drive tomorrow out to Sisi. I'm already really excited about it. Yay! <laughs> What was the bad news? Huh? Oh, right. I heard my dad collapsed. Oh dear, is he alright? He seems to be okay, but he'll need to be tested to make sure. You must be worried. Oh yeah, sure I am. You're going to see him as soon as you can then. Of course not. What? My date's tomorrow. I don't have any time. Don't be stupid. What's more important to you? You can go on the drive some other day, I guess. Don't tell me that what you were doing that fortune telling for. Well, yeah, silly girl. But I... Mm, I can't go to see him. Not like this. Wait. Don't tell me your dad doesn't know. He doesn't. He still just thinks of me as his as his son. Oh, that does complicate things a bit. But if you don't go now, you might regret it. Ma'am, I want to eat a pork cutlet. Pork cutlet? Yes. Where we are in the middle of the important conversation and you want to eat it pork cutlet? Pork cutlets are important too, okay? If I eat a pork cutlets, I think I'll be able to make my decision. So there's some story behind the pork cutlet? Yeah. I don't understand but leave it to me. I can't help you out with your dad, but I can make you a pork cutlet. Really? Thank you. Of course, a woman never goes back on her word. <laughs> Neneknya gentleman banget. <laughs> Aduh, tapi ada ada aja ya. Dia ayahnya sakit. Ini sih dilema ya guys kalau aku bilang karena memang ada beberapa orang tua yang dia lebih uh, apa namanya lebih ngelihat anak cewek eh anak cowok lebih penting gitu ketimbang anak cewek jadi kadang kalau misalnya dia kelahir anak cewek dia bakalan bikin anak ceweknya tuh jadi kayak cowok gitu loh dia nggak mau ada anak cewek gitu itu intinya sih sebenarnya <laughs> mungkin kalian atau teman kalian juga pernah dengar ada cerita yang sama kayak gini ya ya namanya kehidupan ya guys apalagi Asia kan Asia rata-rata kan ngeliatin apa cowok tuh lebih penting gitu ketimbang cewek padahal kalau ada cowok doang nggak ada cewek anaknya keluar dari mana coy ya kan sebenarnya ini sih yang harusnya mereka pertimbangkan kalau aku bilang ya jadi 
sebenarnya mau cowok mau cewek sama aja yang penting ya yang penting jadi orang aja lah nggak 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 jadi apa namanya beban keluarga ya kan <laughs> Oke okay, dan sekarang next gue bakalan uh, nyambung ceritanya ke si bagian si chocolates. Let's talk to the chocolates guys. Excuse me, oh are you talking to me? Yes. Um, do you want to get something to eat? A meal? I just ate. Oh right, this is a dinner. Uh, you're pretty funny, Mister. <laughs> Uh, that's because I'm a comedian. You dress funny, that's for sure. <laughs> Did you want anything else? Uh, how about we grab some tea instead? Wait, are you hitting on me? No, well, yes, but no, I'm very serious about this. How can you be serious? You don't any, you don't know anything about me. That's why I want to learn more. <laughs> I see. So, so, uh, how about it? Hmm. Well, there are a few things you should know about me first. One, I can be a little selfish. That's completely okay. Two, I eat a lot. That's not a problem, is it? Not at all. Three, it says I am a man on my family register. But you are fine with that too, right? Of course, I... I say what? <laughs> That's good one. You've really got my attention now. That wasn't a joke. Wait, really? Got a problem with it? So you are really... Yep. You are a man? Nope. I am a woman. The law won't let me change the gender on my family register. But that doesn't change who I am. <laughs> Ternyata cowok, guys. That's fine by me. No problem at all. <laughs> Mister, you just twitching. I'm sure it is. Sorry for kissing you, but thank you. Your feelings make me feel happy, even if they've changed. They haven't changed, really. But sorry, I'm not on the market right now. I've already got a sweetheart. Well, then I guess I'm out of luck. Of course, of course, you are in love. No wonder you are so beautiful. Huh? What? You're going to make me blush. <laughs> that was a full out rejection, but I'm feeling great. Love really is the best food for the soul. Thanks, miss, and sorry to bother you. I'm going to get going now. I won't find love standing around here. <laughs> What an interesting man. My heart definitely skipped a couple of beats back there. <laughs> Ooh, ternyata kita mengetahui kenyata- satu kenyataan lain, guys. Hmm. Alright, um, <laughs> it's a little bit complicated. Eh, uh, ya guys, gua coba menambahkan dulu makanan di sini biar bisa lanjut terus ceritanya, gitu guys. Oke. Okay. Okay, next let's we talk with Rika. Mm, Granny, could I ask you a favor? Sure, go right ahead. Um, could you make could you make curry for me again? Curry? That I can do. If it's okay though, I want you to make it a bit different from last time. Also, oh, could you make me curry like my mother did? Your mom's curry? Yeah. Ah, so it's not just any old curry you wanted. You miss your mother's cooking, don't you? I think so. I'd make it for you if I could, dear. But I don't know how to. That's not a problem. Oh, mommy taught me. When she was in the hospital, she read out in a notebook so I could cook it when I got bigger. Ah, uh, she said it was her secret recipe. She wrote it down for you. That make things easier. Just leave it to Granny. Really? As long as I have the recipe, yes. Could you show me the notebook? I have it right here. Oh, this is quite detailed. Hmm. The handwriting is very nice. That's Mommy's. I can tell she put a lot of care into it. Yeah. 
Would you lend this notebook to me, dear? Okay. I promise to get to get to take good care of it. It's very important to you, right? It is. Thank you, Granny. I'm going. I'm looking forward to the curry. Just you wait. I'll cook it up for you. This is very big task, job of lifetime, you could say. I'm going to need to take give it all I've got. Oh my god. Neneknya semangat sekali guys. Mom's curry. Okay, nama makanannya adalah mom's curry. Gua cari dulu nih mom's curry yang mana nih. Di atas apa di bawah tuh? <laughs> mom's curry. Uh, with rice maybe mom's mom's curry okay here okay guys mom's curry on the way yeah kita bikinin dulu buat si Rika tercinta <laughs> Rika, Rika, ada ada aja lah ya. Enam, oke. Okay. Oke okay, guys, um, di sini gua langsung berbicara dengan Pak Polisi. Enam, Stars into the void. Is your heart still in the clouds? Come on, back down to earth. It's amazing, isn't it? What are you going on about Apollo? I can't believe it really made it. Hmm, when I was younger, we didn't even have airplanes compared to the, those astronauts. I'm so small, so insignificant. Officer, I might have a job for you. A young lady I know is in a little bit trouble. Oh, what's wrong? Somebody close to her has gone missing. That's awful. Has she felt a missing person reported yet? While I can't say for sure, I don't think he has. She says she has. Why not? That's the best place to start. Well, according to her, she already knows the answer to her problem. The man who left her isn't coming back. Ah, now I'm an old woman who likes to middle, <laughs> and I can't help but worry about this girl. So I've been hoping there's an honest brave, kind-hearted man out there who could help the poor woman out. Know anyone like that? No, but I do know a simple, weak and cowardly man. This man afraid of falling in love again because then he'll have somebody who's important to him, something to lose. He heard that this lady has a loop, but the man she eloped with had disappeared, and he suddenly got cold feet, and he was worried that all he was feeling was pity for this poor young woman. With all these thoughts in his mind, he couldn't master the courage to step forward, but the truth is, do you know the number of the rocket that went to the moon? Hmm? It has a number, right? Uh, I think it was Apollo 11. Right, and now I don't know too much about this whole business. But the means that means they didn't make it that far until the 11th time, right? Come to think of it, so what if you were rejected once, huh? You can't give up until you've tried at least 10 more times. If you're shooting for the moon, you need to do that much. When you put it that way, you might be right. I need to think about this a bit more. What, you're still just going to sit here thinking? Get a move already, officer. Sorry, but this is not just how I am. Thank you for the food, ma'am. <sighs> that man can be so much trouble. Would she even be happy with a whim like that? Now I'm getting worried. <laughs> 
banyak sekali yang dikhawatirkan sama si nenek ya ya ampun and let's we move on to the Casanova huh? what's this supposed to be madam Chirashi sushi I know that much but I didn't order it you did an advance order the last time you came don't you remember the last time ah uh, it's all coming back to me uh, what was I doing you were drunk as a loon that's what you were did, did, did I say anything I shouldn't like what N nothing nothing at all <laughs> oh, I can't believe I made mistake this big putting that aside why Shirashi Shushi reminds you of grandma does it uh, I even bubbling about grandma you were mumbling in your sleep about how much you miss your granny gran no no tell me you are lying <laughs> you look so sad with your head on the table so i thought i'd show you some pity come on eat up i, I don't want it i hate your sushi huh why you order it then when i go back home my gran always had some waiting for me as a treat but Chirashi, but sushi made by some old woman in the stick is, well, it's no worth eating, let's say that. I don't remember what it's called, but there's that sweet pink things, right? Are oh, you talking about fish slivers? Yeah, that my grain would heap a whole mountain of that on top. The taste was unbearable. But I would eat it with a smile anyway. Make me shiver just thinking about it. Mm. Uh, I don't know why I telling you my life story. That was very kind of you, though. Huh? What are you talking about? You didn't have to eat the chirashi sushi if you had it so much. Well, yeah, but I left any on the plate. My grandma be disappointed on me. Grandma has been dead for a few years now. What was she like, Grandma? A real softie. My old man was trash, thrown himself in dream and detached his family. Grandma raised me instead. She was honest to be to the core. Always said to never do anything you wouldn't do in board daylight. She was gentle and kind to everyone. Couldn't even lie to a flea but then she lost her house and felt got tricky out of them by some bad relative <sighs> that's what you get for being honest in a world like this even at the very end she was still apologizing told me she was sorry for causing me trouble for being dumb and getting tricky and she was right to be sorry it's her fault she was dumb enough to be tricked that's how it is in the world not sure i agree hmm? i think your grandma knew knew what she knew you didn't like the chirashi sushi that you were forcing yourself to eat it but then why she wanted to make sure you were eating well and that was the only way she knew how that's just how we old folks are. We are sharper than you think, you know. <laughs> I think she was happy that you were eating the food she made for you. I'm sure she is smiling down on you from above right now. You must be proud that you've grown up to be an honest man. What was your job, by the way? I don't think you ever told me. Do you mind if I eat this? Go ahead, I made it for you. If you don't mind then, mm, how do you like it? It's good. Lady is better than French mass. Guess food's different when Prus making it. Really? But after eating this, I just want to taste her cooking again. Oh my god. Jadi, <laughs> dia merasa teringat kembali sama neneknya guys. Um, it's sad, yeah. But yeah, it is what it is, yeah. Anything happens for some reason. 
dan gua rasa untuk part kali ini gua cukupkan sampai di sini dulu guys dan kita akan lanjutkan part selanjutnya itu di video berikutnya ya guys dan segini dulu aja kalau misalnya kalian suka dengan video game semacam ini jangan lupa untuk subscribe, comment, share dan juga like video game ini uh, namanya adalah Hungry Hearts Dinner 2 ya guys kalau misalnya kalian mau download dan segini dulu aja so buat kayak ini I'll see you on the next video bye bye gamers